So a few videos back, I came on here and I talked to you guys about my experience with anxiety and today I thought it would be fun to give you guys some tips on how I deal with my anxiety when I'm out and about and I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack or like I'm just really anxious and I need a way to relieve myself of my anxiety. I don't like saying the word relieve myself. That doesn't sound right. I was once told that once a panic attack starts, it will not stop until it's run its full course. So if you feel like you're going to have a panic attack, there's no way to stop it. These are just some ways that I find I can cope with it when it's happening. And if you're not a big fan of like physical things to stop anxiety, then um, this video might be for you. But if you're willing to try anything, then maybe just keep watching. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. These are just things that personally help me. And I hope that maybe if I share them with you guys, it can help some of you guys too when you're in a sticky situation. Number one, the first thing that I always have to do when I'm in an anxious situation is I have to have a bottle of water. One of the first things that I experience when I'm having anxiety is my mouth gets really dry and I find it really hard to breathe. So having some water makes it sort of relieve that symptom, which is that symptom makes me feel more anxious and then it's just a downward spiral. So I always like to have a bottle of water with me. Whether I'm gonna drink it or not, just having it with me gives me a sense of calmness to where if I do start having anxiety, I can use the water bottle to delay a full-on panic attack. Now there are some times when I'm in public that I don't want people to be able to tell that I'm like internally on fire. Um, so here are a little little simple things that I do that help me take my mind off of the fact that I am freaking the fuck out. The first one I've actually been doing while I'm filming this video for some reason, I like to twiddle my ring on my thumb in a circle, um, specifically this ring, this little ring. I got this ring randomly at a random thrift store and it's not supposed to be a thumb ring, but it's too big on me. So I like to put it on my thumb and I just twiddle it around in a circle or I'll like move it up and down on my thumb like this and I find that just this little motion because it's not the easiest motion because like my hands are sweaty so like TMI but it doesn't like move around too fast but just the action of like doing that sometimes helps me get my anxiety to go down a little bit or at least distract me from the impending doom that's in my brain. If you're not someone that struggles with anxiety I probably literally sound like a crazy person right now but it works. Now this one personally doesn't really work for me as much because I prefer the ring method, but if you don't have a ring on your finger, this is also a second one that works good if you're in a pinch. You take your finger and you draw a figure eight sign on your hand, and every time it stops working, you reverse how you draw it. So instead of going clockwise, you go counterclockwise, so that way your brain is thinking of reversing the eight into a different direction, and it's taking your mind off of your anxiety. I think this one is really good if you're someone who likes numbers, but I personally find that numbers give me anxiety for some reason, so I don't really like to do this one unless I absolutely have to. The next one is the most expensive one. It's a phone. Yes, my phone actually plays a huge part in me not having anxiety. The first thing that I do, and I know that this annoys people a lot, I'll take the end of my phone case off and just snap it back into place like a hundred times because I'm just anxiously needing to do something with my hands or I'll go nuts. First time I rode an airplane recently, the entire time I was just like, because I was trying to take my mind off the fact that I'm on a freaking airplane. The other thing that also helps me to stall a panic attack, it's just the phone in and of itself. If I can find anything to distract myself on my phone, like reading YouTube comments or scrolling on Instagram, it really, 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 really helps just take my mind off of where I am and puts me into like a different place for a little bit so that I can calm down. Here are some things that I would not recommend you do to calm down your anxiety because I did them for a while and it definitely took a toll on parts of my body. Back when I was skinnier and struggling with my weight, whenever I was anxious, I would take my fingers and I would just rub my collarbones like this. So I would always have my hands like this and I would just be going like this on my collarbones. And it was really weird, but it came to the point where after VidCon, um, I think it was VidCon 2012, I had bruises right here from just being like, I'm so anxious, Oh, and it was a problem. So I don't do that anymore, that's a problem. <laughs> and then I also used to take this under piece of my hair and I would just braid it. Just da 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 da, I would just braid my hair like this. And then by the time I got done braiding my hair, I'd be focusing on braiding my hair to try and get out of the anxiety. And then I would leave it, and then I'd grab another piece, and I would braid it. And I remember one time at an assembly in eighth grade, I literally braided like half of my hair. I just sat there and I braided my hair. This way to stop an anxiety attack from happening isn't the best, but I feel like it's not good to braid your hair that much. And I want my hair to be healthy, so 
I don't know. I would not recommend doing that. Another way that I take away my anxiety when I'm in like a situation where I'm surrounded by people and my social anxiety is just going nuts, I like to just close my eyes and just breathe. And then when I open them, I'm usually a little bit calm. But the problem is with that, if when I open my eyes, I'm not calm, it's like the anxiety just goes nuts and I'm like, it didn't work, it didn't work, what do I do? Ah! In my last video, I also mentioned a little bit about my claustrophobia. So a way that I help myself to calm down and not feel claustrophobic, um, if I'm in a store and I'm feeling like I'm stuck, I locate the nearest exit, I locate the nearest bathroom, and I locate the nearest trash can. You're probably wondering, Sammy, why do you locate the nearest bathroom or trash can? Bathroom, because I know that if I go in there, I can lock myself in a room and be alone for enough time to compose myself and realize that I'm fine and everything's okay. Trash can because I feel extremely nauseous when I feel claustrophobic so I'm like well it's rude to puke on the floor so let's find the nearest trash can. It's coming to the point where I'm like okay where's the nearest plastic bag? Where's the nearest paper bag? Because I'm so nauseous right now I'm gonna puke all over Walmart. And then the nearest exit because if I can see an exit or I know where the nearest exit is I'm like okay I'm fine. I'm not stuck. I'm not trapped. I'm not being crushed. I'm good. I'm just in a store and it helps like calm my brain down. My poor little brain and all of its problems. So yeah, those are just some tips that I use to deal with my anxiety. I know that some of them might seem a little, like, repetitive. Before I get into anything, I'm going Sam, to I feel like a lot of these might seem a little, like, repetitive-like, but just doing this a couple times can help your brain take itself away from a very anxiety-filled situation and focus on something else just for enough time for you to realize that everything's okay and you're not in a dangerous situation or a situation that needs so much adrenaline and anxiety. But yeah, this is your first time to my video. Please remember to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. If you actually like the video, please remember to like it by clicking the thumbs up. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Flop! Ah.